we're about to make the best fish dip you can make to win over all your friends, get that girl you've always wanted, impress somebody. This is how you do it right here. I just got a little bit of jalapeno in my eye. <laughs> so I'm not sad, I'm just burning with desire to make <laughs> smoked fish dip. So this video we're gonna talk about how to make fish dip. Step one is you gotta catch a fish. In this case, we're using Ciro mackerel that I caught a few days ago with Captain Dan. Flashback. Come to the top, baby, come up to the top. <laughs> yeah, Ciro. <laughs> Another Shiro mackerel. Might be able to fire the smoker up after all. It's real light tackle. Here he comes, here he comes. Okay. Captured. Oh, watch that yep. mackerel. That's why we wear booties now. <laughs> this guy's screaming, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right into the net and bingo. All right, now we're doing it. We're doing it. Now we figured it out. I'll bring him right on in there. Yes, sir. Ka-ching! End of flashback. Ciro mackerel is kind of like kingfish, but you can use any kind of fish to make this fish dip. Once you catch the fish, fillet it on up and then smoke it. In this case, I smoked it for about two hours. But if you want to watch the full video on how to smoke it, that's a different video. I'll link it, link it in the video description below how to smoke fish. We got everything we need right here to make fish dip. This right here is our work hog, KitchenAid Professional 600. This thing can literally stir anything into anything. Let's get started. Step one, mayo. Now the beautiful thing about fish dip is you can really make it your own. And I never really measure anything, I just go for it. So in this case, I will use half of this tub of mayo. Okay, step two, sour cream. How much am I gonna put in there? How about the whole freaking thing? Just like that. Step three is cream cheese. In this case, I'm gonna put three packs of cream cheese. These are eight ounce packs. Yeah, we're going ham on this one. <laughs> we gotta make a lot because it's Christmas and all the family, Caitlin's family is gonna get some. I don't have to go out and buy Christmas <laughs> presents, I just make fish dip. One more cream cheese. Wow, this is really getting stacked in there. Take a look in there, what's going on? Oh my gosh. If you ever wanna make poor man's fish dip and you don't have any fish dip, just do all of this without the fish. I'm sure it would still taste good. <laughs> you could just add some like ramen shrimp flavoring packs. Before we add the greens, let's add, this is the smoked fish. Got a nice big fat bag of it. You want to make sure there's no bones. That's a good looking piece of fish dip or smoked fish. I mean, this smoked fish is super delicious. You can just There's bones in there. Caitlin, you wanna try a piece of this? I got all the bones out. Well, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make sure there's no bones in the smoked fish, and then I'll put it all in there, so. You want me, you want me to pause that for me? Cut, take a look at that. We have filled it up. Oh my goodness. I tore it up a bit, made sure there's no bones in there. We should be good to go. I even saved a little piece for Captain Elliot. Come here, Elliot, come here. Look how excited he is. Take it. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna mix this, then we're gonna add these things. I like to mix this into a creaminess before we add the greens or else the greens get smushed into creaminess also. Bring that in, let's see this thing turn on. Oh! Oopsie. You know what I forgot to do? I gotta raise it. There we go. Now oh, that's it. Mmm, smells really good. So let's continue with our ingredients. We'll add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. That wasn't horrible. Let's hear you say it. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. There you go, perfect. 
So we'll just, I don't know, just like a little bit, like... I think that's fine. Tabasco for some extra heat. Oh, lower it. We won't put too much Tabasco because we're going to be adding jalapenos. Okay. And squeeze them in there. Hopefully the seeds don't come out. The lemon juice helps preserve the fish dip for much longer because lemon is natural preservative. Preservative. I dropped a seed. Dropped another one. Oh no, I think there's two in there. Not want to bite down on the lemon seed. <laughs> I think squeezing just one lemon for now is plenty. Okay. I need a lemon squeezer. They make those. Oh yeah. And then no seeds come out of it. That's a good idea. Okay, and here we have some chopped cilantro and some chopped parsley. We also have some chopped celery and three chopped jalapenos. So a bunch of green, a bunch of flavoring. I'll start with the celery. Then we'll do the cilantro and then the parsley and the jalapeno. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. We'll raise that up again and stir it on up. Now that's starting to look like fish dip. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Let's try some. I mean, that should be all to it. I'm going to try some, and then at that point, you can add salt and pepper to your taste. Add more hot sauce, do whatever you want, but you don't know until you try a little bit. I wish I had a cracker right now, but I'll just eat it like this. Mm. We're gonna be getting a lot of presents this year. I'm telling you that right now. They're gonna have some of this fish dip, and then they're gonna be like, oh man. Looks like we had crackers after all. Go try some. I was hiding them from you. Okay. It's amazing. Mm. It's good? It's so good. BAM! I'm about to eat the whole thing. Well, save some for the for our friends. For our friends. Wow. They better get here quick. All subscribers get a bowl. That means we need 55,000 bowls. <laughs> <laughs> Time to divvy it out. We got one bowl for Dan and Elizabeth, Florida fishing couple on YouTube. He's the guy I went offshore with. Good job on catching those zeros, Dan. This one is for my parents. This one is for your parents. Mm -hmm. And does your grandma want one? Um, no, we'll just, we'll share with them. She'll share with us, I mean. All right, we'll bring an extra one to Vero just in case we find someone to give it to. So we'll fill what? those. Where's ours, Heiko? We get whatever is left. Mm-hmm. Well, this, <laughs> well, okay, well, let's just fill them up and see how much is left over. <laughs> love. Mm -hmm. We need to write that on all, we need to write that on the package. Made with love. All right, put the lids on. Look at that. Stacked. Whoa. Oh, that's the Tower of Terror. <laughs> if you're counting your calories intake. So Dan, I finally got your stuff. Dan, Dan came to, to yes. pick up the goods. I'm bringing, I'm bringing it to my mom and dad's house for Christmas. So. Well, I know your dad likes the, the oh, yeah. smoked fish, so. Oh yeah, there we go. Got and these, these, these came out beautiful, man. They're perfect. And then what's this? This is the dip. That's the fish dip. So you gave me dip too? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a, should be pretty good. We already ate some. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, and? we were munch on it. So good, absolutely right, cool. amazing. Beautiful. Be you tough all. All right. All right, man. Well, Felicia and Navidad. Enjoy your holidays. Yep. Shaking hands.
<laughs> the backwards. <laughs> Bye, have fun. All right, cool. All right, guys, it's been two weeks since Christmas, and I got a couple of updates and a couple of tips if you're making fish dip. You can tell. No more Christmas tree, but I still got some fish dip right here. Gotta give a huge thanks to one of my subscribers that made me my wooden cutting board out of some wood from their backyard. Look at that, juicy baby. Fish dip is still amazing. Oh my God, oh. <laughs> even though the fish ship is two weeks old, Caitlin brought this up, it tastes even better now. It seems like the flavors are just getting up in there. Woo! You don't have to smoke fish to make fish dip. The time I made fish dip before this, I didn't have enough fish to smoke. So all I did was bake some fish, but I did everything else the same. And I just put baked fish into the fish dip instead of smoked fish. I'm gonna tell you right now, smoked fish is nice because it's got a little smoky flavor, but if you just got baked fish, if you can't smoke fish or get a mackerel, you can use snapper, mahi, wahoo, probably freshwater fish, I don't know, and it's going to be dope. There are no rules on how to make the best fish dip. Put in whatever you want and just go hammy with it and just keep trying it as you're making the fish dip and I guarantee you it's gonna be good no matter what. If you mess up fish dip then I don't know you probably tried something crazy experimental and put some weird stuff in there but if you just stick to what I just did it's gonna be real good. You want to know how good this fish dip was? Caitlin told me that her grandma never hugs anybody ever and after I gave her some fish dip guess what I got a hug from Caitlin's grandma. I was told it was impossible, but I conquered it. Speaking of real good, I got some real good episodes coming out. You might notice that I have a mullet. I may have had a lot to drink on the boat in an episode coming out, and we take a not sharp bait knife and take it to my head. That? <laughs> if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button right now. Click that like button and get ready for a bunch more videos. If you wanna help promote the channel, Go to SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. Buy yourself some merchandise or buy yourself some fishing rigs because that really helps my channel out so I can make more videos just like this one. Cheers, guys, and thank you for watching. <laughs>